76-ish hours and I find myself right back at the beginning. Did I stutter? Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Okay guys, are you ready Freddy? And that is what you would call a hook. Hopefully it lived up to what it's supposed to do and it doesn't disappoint and isn't over exaggerating what is to come. But what is to come? Well, today is getting ready to go to Florida. You know, coronavirus cesspit numero uno to meet up with some family and more importantly to some new friends. Oh boy, exciting stuff. You're probably wondering why we're going during a global pandemic. Well, my sister is planning on coming up to see us, but she doesn't want to drive up here all by herself, so she decided to buy some tickets for my brother and I to fly down to help her drive back. It makes sense if you don't think about it. It's time to get a move on. As you can see behind me, we're sitting in the very back of the plane, but guess who just got an upgrade to the eighth row? This was uh, pretty humorous. While we were getting checked in for TSA, they asked us to take our masks off so we could be properly ID'd with our licenses. I, there, there's irony or something there. You smell that? Contempt for life and accepting of death. Yep, we're in Florida now. Yeah. You're gonna scare him. Go. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So it came, it came to my attention that I kind of forgot to film some parts between leaving the airport and meeting up with my sister. So I'll give you a, a dramatic recreation of the events that happened. Oh, you're here. I'm so excited and you're so amazing. And I, I think you're the best that's ever been here. Take all of my money and my car and this dog and my house. I definitely may have paraphrased a few lines there. Gotta say, uh, filming in public isn't my strong suit. Makes me feel like I, um, this is just embarrassing and I'm not good at it. So hiding my camera from people noticing that I'm recording isn't necessarily easy. It makes me feel like kind of a predator and not necessarily a good one. The day today isn't anything super spectacular. The docket mostly is comprised of spending time with Grandparents may be going to the beach. Who knows? Didn't bring trunks. I know that much for sure. Get up, slut. We're going to the beach.
not gonna lie, beaches are not my favorite. Now it's time to go shopping at Sam's Club. The highlight of the trip. The main reason we're here, really, to go shopping. That's Sam's Club. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say we're getting muffins, some sort of pastry, pork, and probably fruit. I'm, I'm almost willing to bet on it. Quite a number of times masks have come in handy to help me dub over scenes where the audio is just too rough. Well, whoever bet owes me some money. We, re we purchased everything on that list. Muffins, some sort of pastry, pork, and a fruit. All, t all taken care of, uh, plus two or three additional items, but that doesn't matter because I was right and you owe me 50 bucks. I'm sorry if you think it's a little bit boring up to this point and there isn't a lot of action going on. It, it's not that there isn't a ton going on, it's just it's more private stuff. I'm spending time with family members. No, I don't really see the need to show that. Also, to accomplish this, this scene right here, I had to use a bloomer drawer. A bloomer drawer of my grandparents. Specifically my grandmother. I hope you're happy. Today is the last day we'll be spending here. We're leaving later on this afternoon to go back to my sister's house to get ready for tomorrow and other excursions and events, maybe, perhaps? So, uh, the last I will be seeing my, you know, old people. Also, what do you think? Trying my hair down today? Do I look pretty? Bags all packed up and ready to go. Bed is as made as when I got here. And I do believe that's everything that's important. Everything that's important is all ready to go. Everything that matters. <laughs> we are now on our way to Orlando! We are on our way to go meet Ryan at uh, Disney Springs. Um, not sure if I should share this or not. I don't even know if I'll keep it in. Wait, wait, wait what'd you put in? Uh, easy vasectomy something web. Right there, the billboard. Easy vasectomy vastweb.com. That's an American billboard in right there. The other side is a roofing company. Damn. Great. Look, now you better... Oh my god. Do a meme. Oh fuck. <laughs> Watch as the diabetes set in with number four of the day. This is... You just ruined the shot, I hope you're happy. Oh my painting! Why don't you just set it on the bench? <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Hello, I am here with the illustrious Ryan Mah Mahal 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 Mahalan. And uh, I, I just so happened to bump into him, and I'm going to do an on-the-spot interview. But I'm not going to look him in the eyes because I don't value him as a person. I'm going to keep my eyes closed the whole time. Are you trying to upstage me on my own show? Yeah. When you first started LEGO YouTube videos, did you ever think, would this make my dick bigger if girls saw, or should I just roll with it and hoping it just grows? That one didn't really cross my mind at the time, but it definitely has shown to be an uh, important aspect of the, the, the journey. Did the journey turn out the way you wanted it? Is it actually 
like is I said, it? originally I had no aspirations, but it, it turned out well. I'm gonna go to the Lego store now. No, no. I'm I'm gonna go to the Lego store. No. I so you got? No, no. Just why don't you ask me a question and I'll. <laughs> what I'll interview is this? Not a good one. I'm gonna cut myself. Not a good one. <laughs> How much would I have to pay you to jump in? Oh, uh, thousands and thousands of dollars. I can do a grand. Thousands of stuff. Like ten grand minimum. How how big is your uh, channel? <laughs> how how many subscribers do you have? <laughs> oh, a couple dozen, couple dozen. You know, small time thing. A couple. That I'm a. You're making a girl swoon over here. Uh, I'm already embarrassed enough. Come on, I can't film outside. I'm, hey, being I'm getting sunburned, man. You should have put on lotion. Oof. That cannot go in this video. No, they don't get sunburn as easy. That's not. It's factual, look it up. Yeah, but people don't appreciate the facts. Why do you hate LAN so much? LAN? Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. having a wired connection online is just not practical. Right, you right, go, right, right. You're really going to want to go wireless just so you're not connected to anything is, is my thing. Like, yeah. It's more distance between LAN, you and the router. I get it. LAN for COD right, is just not right. the way to go. But why do you hate LEGO LAN? LEGO LAN? Yeah, it's a... No. It's it's really just a place for kids. I feel like you know, there's nothing for, for Listen, the adults. I need you to answer my questions thoroughly and properly, and you are making a fool of me. So can you? Did I stutter? I'm gonna ask the question again, and I want a legitimate answer. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to ask the question in a way that's answerable. Do you know? <laughs> do you know what it stands for? Lands ambassadors of national this organization. This guy doesn't know stuff. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity that the Lego Ambassador Network has has provided me, <laughs> and. Um, the, the sets they sent me have been really awesome. It's really cool. I, I enjoy giving my true and honest opinions about the, the sets that they send me for free. But uh, some people don't appreciate that. But, you know, what are you going to do? Haters going to hate? Haters. Absolutely. Do you like the smell of vagina? Cut! Had a pretty eventful afternoon. I had a good time. Good old rousing fun. Going to grab something to drink and then head on back and get ready for the trip tomorrow. While the trip was fun, we did spend a little bit too much. She acquired some weeb stuff, and of course, bought, plastic brick no one wants. I bought clothing. Such as. I had a pretty good time. It was it was fun meeting Ryan and you know not a complete douchebag like everybody says well he does have some he gave me one of these because I definitely didn't have enough money spent on the stuff to warrant that and printed bricks always cool always cool we walked around most of downtown Disney and went into a good number of stores you can see more of that on his own channel where I make a complete fool of myself. I didn't bother recording it because most of it's there and not that I would steal views from him or anything, but why see it twice? We joked around the majority of the time there, but it's hard to tell someone's emotions when they're wearing a face mask for 95% of the excursion. I don't know. Hopefully I stuck the landing. <laughs> Already showed off all of that, I know. But I thought, since this is still kind of technically a Lego channel, I'd go a little bit more into it. My brother's first and only Brickheads ever. I missed out on this figure when it came out in Series 10, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not only are you wrong, but you're also stupid. It was Series 6. And I'm hoping that this version isn't glued. And we're golden. That is... 12 in 1 promo, uh, courtesy of Ryan, he picked up two rather large sets. I think his overall bill was in the four digit mark. A refill pack for Sweet Mayhem ship. Almost like puff paint or something. Nightmare Batman set is on sale. And that is the end of day three. Things are wrapping up and coming to a close. I have to go to bed. At a reasonable time to wake up ugh, at an unreasonable time and start the long, perilous journey back home. I am 
I have mixed feelings whether or not I am looking forward to it. The log logistical side of me says no, bad idea. The, the optimistic side of me says no, bad idea. But there's, there's something in there screaming, trying to claw its way out saying, Got a good four, almost five clean hours of sleep, and I want more. But it's fine, I'm probably not the first one driving, so it doesn't matter if I feel groggy. We are right about there, and we are going way up here. We're looking at a cool uh, 996 miles and some change. Fun stuff. Is there a trunk? Can you open it? Stop number one. Well, like freeway stop because we haven't really started. So one of I don't know. No one's smiling this early. We are now in Tennessee at stop number four, and I do believe we are there. And that is day three. 76-ish hours and I find myself right back at the beginning. Hey, do you know where we are? Can I lick you? <laughs> I'm gonna find another bathroom. <laughs> 